Eusociality is the highest level of social organization. These societies have an overlap of adult generations. The division of reproductive labor and cooperative caring of young, usually insects, such as bees, ants and termites, have eusocial behavior. But it is demonstrated in two rodent species, the naked mole rat and the Damaraland mole rat. Presociality is when animals exhibit more than just sexual interactions with members of the same species, but fall short of qualifying as eusocial. That is, presocial animals can display communal living, cooperative care of young, or primitive division of reproductive labor, but they do not display all of the three essential traits of eusocial animals. Humans and some species of Calitricidae, marmosets and tamarins, are unique among primates in their degree of cooperative care of young. Harry Harlow set up an experiment with rhesus monkeys, pre-social primates, in 1958. The results from this study showed that social encounters are necessary in order for the young monkeys to develop both mentally and sexually. A fission fusion society is a society that changes frequently in its size and composition, making up a permanent social group called the parent group. Permanent social networks consist of all individual members of a community and often varies to track changes in their environment. In a fission fusion society, the main parent group can fracture fission into smaller stable subgroups or individuals to adapt to environmental or social circumstances. For example, a number of males may break off from the main group in order to hunt or forage for food during the day, but at night they may return to join fusion, the primary group to share food and partake in other activities. Many mammals exhibit this, such as primates. For example orangutans and spider monkeys, elephants, spotted hyenas, lions, and dolphins. Solitary animals defend a territory and avoid social interactions with the members of its species. Except during breeding season. This is to avoid resource competition. As two individuals of the same species would occupy the same niche and to prevent depletion of food. A solitary animal, while foraging, can also be less conspicuous to predators or prey. In a hierarchy, individuals are either dominant or submissive. A despotic hierarchy is where one individual is dominant while the others are submissive. As in wolves and lemurs. And a pecking order is a linear ranking of individuals where there is a top individual and a bottom individual. Pecking orders may also be ranked by sex. Where the lowest individual of a sex has a higher ranking than the top individual of the other sex. As in hyenas. Dominant individuals. Or alphas. Have a high chance of reproductive success. Especially in harems where one or a few males. Resident males. Have exclusive breeding rights to females in a group. Non-resident males can also be accepted in harems. But some species, such as the common vampire bat, Desmodus rotundus, may be more strict. Some mammals are perfectly monogamous, meaning that they mate for life and take no other partners. Even after the original mate's death, as with wolves, Eurasian beavers, and otters. There are three types of polygamy. Either one or multiple dominant males have breeding rights. Polygyny. Multiple males that females mate with. Polyandry. Or multiple males have exclusive relations with multiple females. Polygynandry. It is much more common for polygynous mating to happen. Which. Excluding lex. Are estimated to occur in up to 90% of mammals. Lek mating occurs when males congregate around females and try to attract them with various courtship displays and vocalizations. 
as in harbor seals. All higher mammals, excluding monotremes, share two major adaptations for care of the young, live birth and lactation. These imply a group-wide choice of a degree of parental care. They may build nests and dig burrows to raise their young in, or feed and guard them often for a prolonged period of time. Many mammals are K-selected and invest more time and energy into their young than do our selected animals. When two animals mate, they both share an interest in the success of the offspring, though often to different extremes. Mammalian females exhibit some degree of maternal aggression. Another example of parental care, which may be targeted against other females of the species or the young of other females. However, some mammals may aunt the infants of other females and care for them. Mammalian males may play a role in child rearing, as with tenrex. However, this varies species to species, even within the same genus. For example, the males of the southern pig tailed macaque, Macaca nemestrina, do not participate in child care, whereas the males of the Japanese macaque, M. Fuscata. Do.